Hi, I, I really needed to get on here and address some things that are going on that we really want you guys to understand. And this is not to lessen um, anybody's feelings or make light of their story or try and um, argue against the way that people are feeling about some renovation projects that happened a few years ago on our show. It is just to express our um, frustration, um, anger, sadness, um, at the way this has all come out and the way it's being handled in the media and especially on social media. As part of our show, we did do a casting call about two and a half years ago to get some clients to do projects for as um, consultants working with licensed general contractors, which we did to do the actual work. Many of the projects went great, um, but several of them had delays, they had overages and really hard things that happen sometimes with construction that were frankly out of our control, but we did our best to be the in-between with the contractors and the clients and try and make this all go smoothly, but in a few, unfortunately, it did not. Um, the one I want to address today is um, Aubrey Benyon, who has started a campaign, as she's stated and others have stated, is to take everything away from us. And quite frankly, it's working. Um, I just want everybody to understand one thing, and whether you're watching this because you are convinced we're horrible people and want confirmation, or you're a friend, or you're neutral. Um, I just ask that you understand one thing. We have hundreds of text messages, receipts, um, invoices from contractors. We have all these documents. We don't have them all ready, and it's obvious that this was prepared and launched at us at a time to hurt us the most personally, and not in a way to to fix or to address the actual issues that people may be unsatisfied with, but just to take us down. They have on their pages said they've called the Instagram mafia for us and it's working. It's working. We're getting death threats. We are getting doxxed. Our information is out there. Our address, people online are organizing caravans to come to our home, find us. We pulled our daughter out of public school today because we don't feel she's safe. Um, and in the long of the short of it, I know that these people are hurt and I know that renovation is hard and we know how stressful it can be dealing with contractors in your house and budgets and timelines and things fluctuating and we'll never we'll never minimize that pain or minimize how much of a struggle that is for real people but we feel like this has kind of gotten out of control and we're at a point where we just have to put something out have to put some information out and even though this isn't everything. This isn't 300 texts and 50 pages of receipts. We just want to get some information out there to help you maybe understand that there's there might be more going on or, or there might be more to this story. Um, the first thing that I think it's really important to understand is that on all of these projects we took on, and it was a one-time thing, we took on these, these nine clients. And in the two and a half years since, we haven't asked for new clients. We haven't taken on new jobs. This isn't our our standard um, income or our mode of making a living is working for people. So when we decided to do this, we put a, an agreement in place that would protect us, the client and the contractor by having avenues for conflict resolution. And the first avenue was mediation. So with in any of these projects, if anything was to go wrong, um, we were supposed to reach out through mediation to try and, and reach an agreement before we had to work through the, the court system and, and legal battles and, and all the other escalations that exist. Um, in the case of Aubrey, we haven't heard from her in two years until this week. She has never reached out. She has never had an attorney reach out. Frankly, a lot of the issues and concerns and complaints that she has about the project, we, we were never made aware of. We didn't know. We we're just finding out this week as well. And these happened over two years ago. Um, that being said, we understand the frustration that she expressed with the budget. Uh, she came to us at the beginning and told us that she had planned on getting a home equity line of credit for around $40,000 to help pay for her renovation. Um, at the end of the day, that loan did not come through. And as she stated, the only money or funds she was able to provide us uh, was a check from her dad for $13,000. And that was for the workers and the materials to get started on this kitchen, laundry room, dining room, deck renovation. Um, 
And I think what's being lost in a lot of the the posts and the anger and the fury um, and the accusations of us taking money or us misallocating money is the fact that even though the budget did go up, and that is scary to watch labor and materials and time go up on a project, and the budget did end up around that $40,000 mark, we paid the difference out of our own pockets. We paid $32,000 difference to finish her kitchen. And I really think either that's being lost or that's being omitted, but the budget did go up and we have not received any of that money back, nor have we sought any avenues to get it back because we know that it's not worth fighting over. So to be accused of, of gaining or taking money from this project when we actually lost hundreds of hours of our time, tens of thousands of dollars, and we didn't even end up using this, the footage for our TV show, we gained nothing from this project. And we're not complaining. I'm not, we're not saying we're, we're victims or that we were, we were damaged or we were hurt. We knew that this could happen and we never would have brought it up. We never would have said it if we weren't forced to. So even though the budget did go up, we paid the difference. I think maybe the most telling thing, maybe the most important thing to take away from Aubrey Benyon and her story is her overall feelings, which again are her feelings. I'm not gonna fight her on her feelings. That's not fair. But as angry and as upset and as devastated as she said she felt by this renovation, the last contact we had from her was about two years ago, like I said, and it was in the form of four text messages. Candace sent three text messages after the renovation was complete and the workers had gone by to do the punch list after the reveal and we were out of there and we were done. Candace reached back out to Aubrey to see how she was doing because we've done a lot of renovations and we know how hard it is at the end. And that's when everything just feels insurmountable and it feels like your space is torn apart. And even though it comes together at the end, there's a lot of emotional recovery that needs to happen after a remodel. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of wear on you. So Candace reached out over three text messages to check on Aubrey and see how she was doing and, and just see where we were at. Um, it took a few days for Aubrey to reply, but when she did, she informed us that she was upset with us and that she felt like we had taken on too many projects at once. And there's a lot of truth to that. We were working with a lot of new contractors and trying to do a lot at one time. And she felt like we did not manage the day-to-day -day process of her renovation well. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. It really was a lot of work to get it done. And we feel like she she's right. It did not go smooth at the end, but we got it done. We reached out and she, she voiced her opinion that she was unhappy. But the most important thing in this text is one simple line that goes against a lot of what she has said publicly and has posted over the past week. And that line in the text that you'll see says that we can still use her project on the show if we need to, but that she's upset about how it went. I think what troubles me about that is the fact that today she is saying that, that it ruined her life and that it devastated her and that her experience with us was so horrible and that she hated the kitchen and that there are all these issues that were never brought up to us. But at the same time, the last communication we have from her two years ago is her saying, go ahead and put me on TV, go ahead and put me on the show. And since then, it's been radio silence until all of this came out this week, which was obviously timed with the launch of the network and timed in a way and put out there in a in an environment to do the most most damage to us personally, which it has done.